the 2023 CA Z06 Z07 package. Sheesh. And you get to drive this bad boy. The 2019 oh, yeah. C7 ZR1, very limited edition. Yeah. It's the ZTK package with the big carbon fiber wing on the back, the big carbon fiber front splitter, carbon fiber side skirts. What's the, uh, what's the horsepower on this one? 755, mm. 755. And you can hear it. she screams, mm. screams, screams. Hey, right, but let's not forget about this one. 670 horsepower, flat plane crank, dual clutch. Got the aero package on this one. Got the visible carbon fiber roof here. We got the visible carbon fiber interior. The accelerate yellow, bright, bright colors. The yellow stitching to cover. This thing's a lot of fun to drive. Which, which, one's, which one's better to drive? Which one's more comfortable? The, the Z06 is definitely more comfortable to drive. It's bigger inside. You could even fit in this I'm, thing. I'm, How I'm, tall I'm, are you? I'm a bigger body, so I need to. How tall are you now? 6'5". Six, 6'5". Five. Six, five. You could fit in this thing. Okay. 6'5". Yes. You could fit. So you got me You got me in the small shit. I got okay. you in the small. I want you to feel cramped. <laughs> and we just had these custom Aerolary wheels put on. Had Jake Tinsley at Tinsley Custom Coating co Powder Coat these things to match. Look at those brake pads. Got the Brembo brake pads, the ceramic disc brakes. Not much to see mm. with that big old supercharger on top. Big carbon fiber covering the supercharger. 755 horsepower. Front engine. Reason they went mid-engine the C8, this thing just won't quite hook like the C8. Got you. This thing will get down the road though. Tires are hot. This thing will absolutely launch. Check this one out. Look at that bad boy. The LT6, 670 horsepower. She is bad to the bone. We even have storage for the roof back here. So it's got the, it's got a trunk and it's got a front. It's got a trunk and a front. Tons of storage. You can fit a, you can fit a golf bag back there. We can go play some golf in this. You definitely could. This could this could be a daily. We could daily this thing. Yeah, this could be a daily. We're on the way out to the track now to do a couple pulls in the CA Z06 and the C7 ZR1. Have a little fun with it. I love this car because it's so comfortable to drive. I mean, I'm a 6'1, 220 pounds, and I can drive this car with no problem. Plenty of headroom in this thing. I even have the seat up a little bit and the pedals this way a little bit. So it's uh, extremely comfortable to drive. I like the way the steering wheel is. That way your legs aren't getting hit by the round steering wheel. You got plenty of room down here. But I love this carbon fiber. I'm a big carbon fiber guy, so the stealth package we got with this thing when we ordered it was a must. The ZR1 has a little over 10,000 miles on side. These cars just don't sit in the garage. I go out and drive these things. This one here, I've only had about six months and it's got almost 2,000 miles on it. So they don't, uh, they're not, they're not trailer queens and garage queens. I do drive these bad boys, so. If you ever have a chance to, to get in a C8 or especially a CA Z06, you need to take advantage of it. This one might be on the rental program soon on firstclassrides.net. Never know what we're gonna put on there. I told you this thing's so much more comfortable to drive than this car. You're also short though, so. Well, I mean, I'm a little bigger. <laughs> I'm a little bigger. BG, you have to get in this thing here soon. Got the front aero dam on that Z07 package. Got the air ducts to keep it cool. You can see the intercoolers in the front up here just to keep that engine cool. The fans still running from us making those pulls over here. You can still hear the fans back there. And we still got some, we still got some space in this thing. I mean, not only is it a supercar, but it's also a it's also our camera car. We just had this thing ceramic coated, all PPF on the whole car, so it protects it from paint chips and everything. We get a little paint chip on, we can just peel the clear layer off and put a new one back on it. My guy Patrick did that for us. We also, I forgot to tell y'all, did you hear how loud this thing is? Wow. We put that five speed exhaust on it. It's got that five speed cat back, did away with the valve that opens up and closes to keep it quiet because who wants this car quiet right i don't want this car quiet we did the carbon fiber 
uh, exhaust tips on the back back there to keep the carbon fiber theme going. When did you get the exhaust put on? Like 30 days after I got this car. Oh, okay. So it's, it's, so, it's loud to begin with stock though. Right. But like I said before, this is the Z07 package. This is the carbon flash. The difference in carbon flash versus the visible carbon fiber is obviously the color. So the visible carbon fiber is on the roof, but not on the big Z07 wing. You can catch that little carbon arrow engraved right there. Look at that. So clean. The styling of this still resembles a lot of the Italian styling in the like the Ferrari. If you put this right side by side in a Ferrari Lamborghini, most people they'll call this a Lamborghini nine times out of the ten. They don't think this is a Corvette. It don't look like one. Corvette's Not always a typical one at least. Corvette's always been this front engine muscle car look. And then they went completely opposite. Right. Bit went mid engine, supercar style. And they killed it with this thing. Let's look how much room's in there. See if you can get down on that one. Oh yeah, this is. <laughs> Your back won't hurt in that one. Yeah, back's not gonna hurt in this one. Back's not gonna hurt in that one. I'm gonna get on the other side. Yeah, we got some. We got some headroom over there. It's a little. It's just too. It's too compact for me over there. Yeah, I can fit over here. Fit pretty good. That's your first time sitting over there. It is. Yeah. I'm not gonna ride with you though. Yeah, I wouldn't, no I wouldn't either. No chance I'm riding I wouldn't with either. Either. I wouldn't ride with nobody. Because you got know, wraps around the driver. Yeah. It's like a cockpit. It literally is like a cockpit. Everything's catered to the driver. That's the other thing about the other Corvette. It's it's like it's 2019, but it seems like the screen is like old, older. Yep. Technology yeah. wasn't like because it was the same screen as in my 2015. Oh yeah, so the, that, Stingray was exactly the same from 20. I think they started making the C7 in 2014 to 2019 was the exact same. But let's not forget my baby over here. We got it. We got to show this thing off. Can't forget about her. So the ZTK package adds the big high wing. So they made a high wing and they made a low wing. I went with the high wing because I love the kind of like the Viper, the, the ACR with the big, huge wing. I love the big, huge wings. But even like the lights, the, the lights are, uh, are Italian styling in these. So they had somebody come in with some Italian styling on these lights and a lot of the aero stuff to uh, start mimic some of these uh, exotics and, and whatnot. But they still kept the traditional front engine, muscle car style with the big cal induction hood for that big supercharger. Six, 755 horsepower in this bad boy. When these tires are hot, this thing will launch and we'll show you that here shortly. This does have the old PDR set up. So we got cameras in the front that record everything. Another little thing right there in the middle that's the, the, the integrated escort radar. That was that blue light beeping on you going down yeah, the road. Yeah, I was like, what the hell is that? There's three in the front, one okay. in the back, and there's a laser jammer up here in the front too somewhere. It's all hidden. Everything's integrated. But this here also has the, uh, the carbon fiber interior package too, just like the Z07. Got the suede Alcantara interior as well. It's got the... Uh, sport cup seats competition seats carbon fiber as well matching orange trim orange stitching and the orange seat belts are these the air vents on the side right here that's the induction so that keeps the uh, brake rotors cool gotcha. so it forces air down in there to keep those things cool because you start tracking this car those things get hot and they right. get on fire so that air forces down in there and keeps them cool this car is actually bone stock so we did not do an exhaust on this one i felt like this car deserve just to be completely stock. I think it's worth more in a collector's value being just completely stock on this car. So we didn't do exhaust. We didn't do anything. We didn't do wheels on this car. We did absolutely nothing on this car. It is 100% factory other than the uh, the radar detector, but we do have full PPF uh, and ceramic coat on this car too. So that's why she's still shining like that. How can you tell the difference between a C8 and a C8 Z06? It's this little wing right here. This is added for the C8 Z06. The C8 just a regular C8 Stingray just has it to the door here and back. The C8 Z06 has this, right? So that's one of the biggest ways you can tell the difference in a C8 and a C8 Z06. Here we have our 2023 C8 Z06. People ask how you put this thing in launch control. I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're in park right now. You want to hit the Zemo button twice. It's going to say you're on a PTM right here. We're in race one. Over here on the screen, you'll see traction control is off. Put the, how you can tell is you put it in drive, hold your foot on the brake, hit the gas pedal, and it'll launch at 4,500 RPMs.
2019 C7 ZR1. don't have papers in the back. fun out there today shooting these two cars hit that subscribe and notification button because next week we're shooting this bad boy right here